You've always been an independent and confident person. Even since childhood, you knew what you wanted to do and had a plan to get there. You dreamed of becoming... No, you would become a politician with the aim of making the world a better place. You wouldn't let anything get in your way and put all your efforts into climbing to the top in the world of politics. You make friends with like-minded people and bump heads with those you don't get on with as well. Your main issue is that you have never liked it when people tell you what to do. You often get easily frustrated when you think people are saying they are unable to do something. You never turn down a challenge and have always been extremely passionate about all your interests. Anything bold and daring, you try it. The first time you're going to visit Mount Komorobi, you know this is where you want to be. The snowy slopes mean that you can spend as much time as you want rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding, anything to give you an adrenaline boost. You live for a life of thrills, always on the edge, heart racing. You've been loyal, sticking by your friends through thick and thin it's the same in relationships. In your eyes, love is built on trust and loyalty, and you would never forget this. You will always fight for what you believe is right and support the people you love, no matter what. Hello everybody, my name is Pixelacy and welcome to a brand new series. So once again, we are here starting another legacy challenge. However, this one is the star sign legacy challenge and as you can see here and from the intro we are starting with generation one aries so this is our lovely little sim her name is amelia zegacy she is adventurous self-assured and short-tempered she also has high metabolism from her extreme sports enthusiast aspiration so that is all fine and dandy as that is following the rules um you may notice from this that this is from the uh traits mod that i added in but that is all good and it basically does the same thing so either way i think it's all right so this is amelia zegacy she has moved into San Maishuno in a little apartment for herself she's got some extra money after being born to a wealthy family um, she also has a welcome wagon of people outside ready to greet her. Let me in. Let me in. I'm not entirely sure if there's anybody we actually want to make friends with. These all seem like interesting people. We have Zachary, we have Raj, we've got Gita, and we have Miko Ojo. Mikro Wave. Um she is practicing her charisma skill right now but she has already reached a level two and also i went ahead and have her chose i let her choose a cause which is no sim left behind because aries are loyal and i think that would just be really fitting for her so with that being said let's go ahead and greet your new neighbors I don't exactly want to invite all my neighbors in because I really just don't want fruitcake. I, I don't want them to put it down because I never know what to do with it. I'm not sure I have ever kept it. Usually I just throw it away, which works. Wow, um, they did not like that. I don't know why. I just greeted you guys. But, you know, whatever. We'll brighten her day maybe and discuss flavor, I don't know of what, um, discuss interest, and tell her an unbelievable story. Get this back in the green, gotten up into the green with them, made them become more friends, so they're even hugging, that's cute. Um, we're gonna have her go ahead and use the restroom, and we are also gonna have her cook up some dinner of... We'll just have a little garden salad. I don't exactly remember allowing you guys into my house. Or my apartment, for that matter. But, you know. Do whatever you want. Because clearly, you won't listen to me. And, Zachary, what are you doing? Games on your phone? Well, either way. In this meantime, I will take a second just to introduce you guys to the rules a little bit. So this is the Aries generation, and we have to, our main goals are to reach level 7 of the politics career and reach level 3 of the extreme sports enthusiast aspiration. 
and we will have to get married and we will have to have a spouse and a child of course at some point so you guys can go ahead and start scoping out some potential love interest and we can decide what exactly she wants to do it doesn't specify if it has to be an adopted child or a born child so i'm assuming it doesn't really matter so our options are pretty open if you guys are catching my drift so she finished her salad with the company of her new neighbors although i'm not entirely sure if these neighbors live in our house well <laughs> our house i hope they don't live in our house what I meant more so was, do they live in our apartment complex? That would be a little bit interesting, and I wish- I wish you would stop trying to just come outside and- and eat your food, please. And you stole our food! Listen, it was nice meeting you guys, but we're gonna have to send you home. And also, speaking of that, I'm going to lock this for everyone but household members because everyone is going to sit on that computer and I would rather not it be broken before she is even able to use it. Anyways, we have done everything we can for our job and let's see if there's anything more. Career? No. Socialize? No. Political career? Check cause progress? Let's have her walk over here and do that. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Oh, Amelia has raised zero simoleons and zero sims registered supporters. Okay, so I'm guessing I haven't really used the political career that much. So I'm assuming there is a plate on the floor. Please just clean that up. You do not want to eat after someone, a random person you just met and eat his saliva. Um, that would be really weird. And... She even left a plate out here? This is not your business to clean up. Hey, neighbor, I'm starving. Can I raid your fridge and have some food? Um, listen, you know what? I thought you were kind of cool, but you literally just stole our salad. You just stole our salad when you first came over here to welcome us. So, absolutely not. You can absolutely not have our food. And with that being said, let's check her schedule real quick. She works Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursdays. And also Saturdays. So, she does have work for the next three days. Which means this is our only day off. However, it is practically almost over. I was going to have her head out, maybe meet some more people. But it seems... That will not be the case. So, Amelia works at... 8 a.m. and she has just woken up from a nightly sleep and completely walking away from me. Walking? Is that a word? I'm not entirely sure what I just said, but you know, she walked away from me either way. So it seems we've got everything done. She starts work in two hours and her performance is good to start off and she also has a sentiment with Miko. They cook together. Oh, that's cute. Oh, she's a co-worker, actually. If she is a politician, um, she doesn't say what kind of rank she is, so she must not be her boss. Let's check out Zachary. Does we have any, do we have any interesting things? No, he just seems like a complete loser. And Tiffany, no, you are also our neighbor, so you can go ahead and clean that up. And then we're going to have her watch the Politicism tv channel just so she can get warmed up ready for the day and ready to go to work so here amelia goes off on her very first day of work and i will see you guys in just a moment oh god she is terrifying okay so miss amelia is back from work and she has also just been promoted to campaign intern she received a bonus and now she can debate politics with other sims and her schedule is still the exact same so now that amelia is home from work we're gonna go ahead and have her travel i uh was planning uh, seeing if we can meet a few new people. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and head to the Sky Fitness Gym just to see exactly what kind of people are around and also maybe get her athletic skill up a little bit in preparation for the extreme sport she's going to master. If you guys want to leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of sport you would like to see her get into, whether it's rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding, either one, or any of the three for that matter, just go ahead and leave it down below and we will see exactly which one she will prefer the finchwick fair has started well that's nice but uh amelia here isn't exactly interested in the simple farm life so down here we've got we've got a bathroom nothing really exciting however we do have mirrors we could go ahead and get her to maybe practice talking to herself although she's actually protesting on her own that's actually interesting and she's oh she's supposed to promote her cause so actually let's scope out what sims are here we've got darian grant we've got katarina lynx and jade rosa and also janice young we also have this other lady who is protesting alexandria is she no she is not one of our co-workers i don't think so let's go ahead you can probably no it's fine go ahead and give this lady a friendly introduction and also give her a friendly introduction Maybe you can talk about overcoming insecurities and exchange names and then you can also share that you got a promotion today and maybe she will definitely find that interesting at least and apparently it decided that she does not want to talk to us anymore and they have gone their separate ways. You know what, that's fine. Amelia has better things to do, and better things to do, I mean, finding better people to become friends with. So we see Hannah Hoffman here. Let's go ahead and give her a friendly introduction. Yes, she loves fitness. We will, we will gladly keep that. Tell her a unbelievable story and tell her a funny story and then you can debate politics and discuss your interests and then talk about planning and then get to know her and rally to the cause. See if she will join you. Also, you guys may notice that the theme of our sim is supposed to be navy blue. Of course, the house is navy blue, but she is red. However, I will put on the screen the color palette I found on Pinterest, actually, for Aries, which is what I'm going off of. If you guys want to let me know if that's accurate or not, or if you guys would rather just see her in all navy, I don't know. I was just kind of expanding the color palette so we could have a little bit more fun and a little bit more options, because believe me, finding navy blue clothes for all of her outfits was actually surprisingly difficult she did not want to uh well i couldn't find that much even cc wise that she could wear as navy blue so i was like well i'll expand it a little bit to red and yellow and oranges which you will see in all of her upcoming outfits and i'm not entirely sure did her promote cause no do you have to do that on your own do we have to go protest um, will that work? Is this counting as promoting your cause? Or do you need to talk to someone and figure out what they want to do or if they can help you? There's a talent showcase. Um, you know what? Okay, let's go meet Miko somewhere. Here is the talent showcase, apparently, which is severely disappointing. In fact, that I'm sure I even got here in my other Let's Play for the Not So Berry. I had the same pop-up happen, and I also went with the same type of people. And let's go ahead and get to know Miko a little bit more. She seems like a good person to become friends with. We can discuss... No, she's not really into fishing or 
have anything. Let's see, tell her a outrageous story and then talk about your promotion. Let her know that you just got a promotion on your first day at the job. And then you can also start to get to know her some more and tell her a gross joke just for funsies. She is pretty serious, however, I think she would appreciate Miko and discuss some interest and just want to get to know her really well as a friend. Alright, so I did give Miko a little um, makeover. Actually, when I got up close to her, her facial uh, genes are very interesting. Her lips are so small. And it's just, I was, I was truly not expecting it, but it's okay. They seem to be getting along pretty well. And can we not promote our cause? Is there like a separate option? Speak your thoughts, maybe. Um, friendly political career. Rally to the cause. Maybe that is exactly what we need to do. Unless maybe we need to post it on Social Bunny, but I don't think that that has anything to do with it either way. And actually, Miss Amelia is getting rather hungry. Let's go ahead and order her some food. Let's get a bowl of olives. No, thank you. Um, a mac and cheese platter. She can indulge in some carbs. I don't see why not. Miko has listened to Amelia's passionate remarks and is inspired to take action. So we did finally successfully promote our cause. So now we just have to reach level 3 of the charisma and reach level 2 research and debate skill. Um, to use a research and debate skill, use a research archive machine, the podium set, write and publish a research paper on the computer, practice debating in a mirror, etc, etc. Okay, I did not know there was so much going into this. Are you ordering your mac and cheese? Yes, you are. What is this? A meat and cheese platter? That looks like a, like a board, a charcuterie board. It kind of looks good. I would, I would eat that. Whoa, that actually looks really good. Give me that. Oh, she is feeling very playful. Can we enter in this talent showcase? I would love to do that. I think she would definitely go out and try to impress someone and see if she could get on. Let's see. Can we... No, these are people from the book club. We don't really need to talk to them. And she is actually using the bathroom on her own. Congratulations! She is getting a little bit stinky though. She did go to the gym and did a little bit of working out. And I think, I don't know, maybe we can talk to Miko a little bit more. Try to get to know her. We can promote the cause and um, appreciate her some more and tell her dramatic story. So in that time frame, it seems Miss Amelia has increased her charisma skills and now all we have to do is figure out how to get the research and debate skill which should be okay um and manageable uh, amelia is gonna keep talking to miko for a little bit longer and then we're gonna send her home because it is nine o'clock and she still has work at eight o'clock in the morning and we probably shouldn't miss work our second day and she doesn't have a day off until tuesday so preferably we want to get in good graces with our boss so amelia has arrived back home and she is very eager to take a shower and figure out whoa there was a random lady there who just disappeared so i guess she won't figure out who she is but um i guess we'll just ignore that together and eat i guess she just ate how did she not fulfilled did she not finish her mac and cheese platter i'm i'm kind of upset if you didn't but it's already 10 42 so i actually will skip dinner for tonight and she'll just eat a hearty breakfast in the morning and head to sleep it is bright and early and amelia has finally awoken and she should have plans to go to work and however it is new skill day which means after she gets home from work we are able to go and complete 
our next promotion skill, which is research and debate, in which we can possibly political career. No, we can write a letter. We can write a letter, or we can have her go over to her mirror, and we can apparently. Oh. Yes, actually, we can practice debate. However, we're not going to do that just yet. We'll let her finish her salad and, of course, use the restroom just to head to work in a few moments. And which I will catch back up with you guys with her interesting eyebrows for a moment there. So we got a little uh, timed event sort of thing and it seems the whistle stop wimp the candidate is due appear on stage at any minute but they're having a panic attack about their entire campaign amelia must act quickly to keep the speech in motion should she boost the candidate's ego or guilt trip the candidate i would probably boost his ego just personally um emily Amelia definitely lists the key points of the candidate's platform and reminds them of the good work they can know must do for the people. The candidate straightens their buttons, heads out into the podium to a roaring crowd. Perfect. Once again, we are back and Amelia has finished a not-so-fun day at work and a lack of promotion to come with it, although that's okay. Right now, she is going to actually watch the politicism channel while she relaxes after her difficult day gets her fun up and then she's gonna grab another bite of her salad and eat that and finally we are gonna really work on her practicing debate we need her to get that promotion and start working on reaching level seven of the career because right now we are only level two which is very far from seven right now and speaking of levels we also need to get to level three of an extreme sports enthusiast which means we have to do all of this in which i will probably start next episode considering this episode is getting miss amelia down on her feet understanding exactly who she wants to be and uh wow those shoes are not it also what the heck their body hair on her legs i was not aware of this interesting although she has been building her debate skill and she has reached level two so actually we are all good uh, let's see if we can't um invite maybe miko how did we have romance with her that's interesting. We'll go ahead and invite Miko over and clean this up. You don't want to leave your dishes around for guests, preferably. At least I don't. I don't know about Amelia. Maybe Amelia enjoys leaving her dishes out. But um, we are not slobs in this household, and I refuse to be called one. So hopefully she will be right over as she said she would. Uh, yes. Oh, she actually is our literal neighbor. That is so convenient. Can we promote our cause to you? She already knows about your promotion. Political career rally to the cause. Does that- does this count again? Just to do the same person over and over? Oh, it did count for our, um, thing. Okay, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and have them actually maybe watch a movie, watch the college cram with Mika and we will, is it Mika? It's Miko. Oh my gosh, I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Um, uh, that's, that's all right. And no, Zachary, you are not stealing our food once again. And you guys seem to be watching the movie from the wrong angle. The TV screen is that way, Miko. Miko, look at the TV over here, not us. You know what, I think she really digs Amelia. I don't know. Let's see what Amelia thinks of um, Miko. She... Closer, you guys only have happy memories together. Um, I'm sure, I think I might have taken the mods out that uh, in, did the... Uh, attraction thing i might have to put those back in i just had some problems with it so you know it's probably fine by now her fun is getting up there really good 
And we're gonna have her pete like a champion because she is one, slaying all the time, every day, and making a new friend as soon as she got here. We're gonna have Amelia go ahead and serve up some dinner for the both of them. We'll just have her serve mac and cheese because she meant to get that at the bar. I'm not entirely sure if she actually ate it, but I know she did spend our money on it. That's all right though, we have her cooking that up and it reminds her of when they first met <laughs> literally the other day of um, cooking together with Miko. So she is going to cook this really fast and she has reached level 2 which is perfect. Let's see if Miko wants any of our mac and cheese, if it is good enough. Or are we just going to sit here? I love how they don't use the dining table I put for them. But you know, it's alright. It is The Sims. How should I expect them to listen or do anything that uh, is actually functional to a, a degree? So here they are talking and they are so cute. They're, they're an interesting couple of friends. We have red hair and pink hair. And speaking of hair, we do need to figure out what color what color of bright hair we should dye um amelia's hair in the next uh few episodes that would be good and um i guess if she is not going to eat some of our wonderful mac and cheese we made we will put it away after we're done talking so finally the two of them have actually become good friends which means she is now a possible romance interest although i'm not entirely sure how they already started romancing i'm just gonna go ahead and can i tell you to leave because we do not want you hanging out while um we are trying to go to sleep however it doesn't seem like it wants to give me that option understandable i suppose but maybe she will leave on her own actually she just did so with that being said you all i will see you in the next episode in which we will probably start amelia on her extreme sports and see what else and what other people she's going to meet along her long political journey Bye bye